Welcome to Advanced Bay DIY channel. My name is Dimitri. I am working today on my project, building myself a carport, 60 by 18 feet. I'll show you guys what we so far have done right there. So yesterday was, you know, it got too dark and we couldn't work yesterday, but we really started working on our frame. So I have all the parts right here. Here is the parts. So we are building the frame right now. Beautiful little daughter, Aviva. Hi. Okay, she wants to help, she wants to screw some screws. So she's gonna be helping me and my two of my other sons will help me put the structure together. I bought it used, three buildings together. They were connected to each other. So that's what we are going to do. That's why I prepared the slab foundation for this building. We decided to make a gym instead of the carport. Right, Tristan? This is my my son. This is my son Tristan right here. And this is my son Austin. I recommend them for any job. And that is Nicodemus. Oh, look at him working.
right guys, so we are actually done with uh, installing all the beams and we are done with that. I'm so glad that was a little tough to do, but it, you know, it's possible to do. Show you guys a little bit more around, right there. And now I'm gonna have to pretty much screw every, every beam at the bottom, at the base. As I, you know, I said before, here we have three different carports built in one. So, and it made a pretty big shop for me. Approximately 1200 square feet in this building. And also I have my lift. I'm so excited about the lift that I installed. Thank you to my uncle. few things now I have to do is pretty much um, we have a little problem right here with the roof I made it the slab too close to the roof but it's okay because I have to somehow get the water off this roof you know from from this roof right here to that roof so I'm gonna have to adapt into that roof somehow we'll see how we're gonna do that with the metal and so that's gonna be a little bit a problem right there. Next, what we're gonna do, I have to anchor the base. We have the holes right here. Let me show you right here, here's the holes. We're gonna have to drill the holes and uh, I'm gonna glue the anchor bolts in. So, uh, it gets pretty windy here, living on a field like this. So we don't want this thing fly during wind windy weather all right guys let me give you guys a little update what we're doing right now so we are drilling holes right here to anchor the frame to to a concrete so right there you can see it and pretty much we have to make this holes right here on the metal make them bigger um, so we're actually trying to use this rod right here it's a 5 8 and the holes were a little bit smaller so we went and bought some drill drill bits and now we're pretty much doing that right so i'll show you guys once we done little review what we've done yesterday so let me show you guys really quick so we anchored all the base from both sides right now and right now what I'm gonna do I have to tighten all the anchor bolts right now they're they are sort of a loose as you guys can see it right there we're gonna anchor them down what I use for anchoring the bolts is this product right here set up epoxy right here as you guys can see it really good stuff you just push and it it twists the glue inside right there it mixes the glue inside and it comes out a very very strong anchoring component for for the bolts and today what i'm gonna do i'll be screwing down the base let me show you the, the better one right here so now we're gonna have to screw the bolts the screws the metal screws you know to anchor you know the sides to the to the base right there that's what i'm gonna do today on top of the carport i still have to attach those brackets right there and you can probably see so i have to attach them like this well it turns out to be not a small carport a really big one as you guys can see it right here uh, it's fairly big. I mean, you can park inside like even a school bus. School bus will go in really easy. And you can actually park 
two cards in a row. How about this impact right here, which I'm gonna test on my frame. Let's go, try it out. Another day here at Advanced Bay. I want to show you guys what we've done yesterday. Right here we start putting the panels, covering frame with panels. So right here, this is a little bit from inside. Today, hopefully we can finish covering the whole building. Just spotted some uh, wild turkey on my property. Let's go see if we can catch them. And they come once in a while on my property. Yeah, right there. You see it? Right there. Oh, they run really fast. update on my project that I started. I'm inside of my carport right now. Let me show you guys really quick and update what we've done. This is the carport, 60 by 18. We already finished washing the building from inside out. There's a couple more, more things that needs to be finished, but pretty much it's all done right there. And let me show you guys really quick inside. I'm really excited that I can actually finally work inside of this 
carport. I have my lift, underground lift right here. And this is how it looks inside, all washed. On this side, we didn't have enough panels right here. So later on, I'll try to find it. And that's how it looks right here. So I do want to cover this wall right here later on. And I would probably cover this wall at the back too. And I want to leave it um, more open like this so I would have more natural light inside the carport. I'll show you guys what materials I will be using that to cover this wall later on in my videos. So please subscribe to my channel, share the video, like the video, and I'll keep you guys posted. One more thing what I've done. I actually um, installed my air, now I have all the air in my carport and this is my the black tank will be, it's the tank for my underground car lift right there. Hey Cody, are we done right? We're done working. there you go guys so thanks for watching thank you for you know watching my videos thank you for the support you guys leave in comments down below and I hope you guys subscribe I have um, lots of new projects that I'm planning to do in, in this carport right here and I have a car right now that will go on this lift right there